Our today's lecture is about the analysis of blood gases and their significance. Very very important question uh, before the start of the collection of blood for the uh, blood gases. We should understand why this test is important. So yes, this test is important to check the oxygenation in our body or saturation of oxygen in our body because you know oxygen is actually a main uh, uh, major gas for the uh, survival of the body or or to prevent from hypoxia so so for the uh, proper working of brain and the other vital organs we must ne we need actually uh, uh, oxygen so maintenance of uh, uh, oxygenation or assessment of adequacy of the oxygenation is a very important step and then on the secondly it also assess the adequacy of ventilation yes uh, the third point is this test also shows uh, some pH values and this pH will decide the uh, blood acidity or blood alkalinity so, uh, so the more acidic uh, pH in blood is uh, very bad on the end similarly uh, um, uh, alkaline environment or severe alkaline environment or raised pH is also not good for the organs so this test will help us about uh, these few very important uh, mechanisms Everyone who is dealing with the ABG's arterial blood gases analysis must know about the uh, collection of uh, the blood sample for this uh, analysis because it's not uh, like other uh, tests. We can perform many or routine uh, tests from the veiny puncture, uh, blood from the veiny puncture, but we need uh, arterial blood for the accurate oxygenation assessment ventilation assessment and the acid base status checking we need arterial blood okay so that's why arterial blood collection is a a another very tricky thing uh, because uh, uh, there uh, are a lot of skill required for the arterial blood collection so first of all what uh, what should you do you must have to uh, say the patient uh, and uh, uh, to sit or or lay down in a spine position okay then you will check the artery and you will try to palpate the artery just uh, near to the wrist and you will uh, say the patient to move the hand so that the artery become prominent and you can palpate easily okay so you can uh, uh, you can ask the patient to rotate the hand to move upward downward to uh, to palpate the pulse more easily and uh, then you will uh, uh, you will use any antiseptic before uh, antiseptic before applying uh, before puncturing the uh, site so you will uh, apply antiseptic agent and then after applying the antiseptic you will puncture the uh, site a specified or identified site uh, with the 20 or 21 gauge needle uh, which will be attached with the syringe and syringe will be pre heparinized because you ha you have to avoid the clotting of arterial blood so that so you must have to uh, collect the sample in pre heparinized syringe okay so after taking 3 to 5 ml blood you will carefully uh, uh, you will carefully uh, take needle out of the uh, artery and then you will uh, apply the cotton or a bandage o o over puncture side and and maintain the pressure with two fingers for few minutes so it is easy to uh, it is easy to stop blood from after the veiny puncture but in case of arterial uh, blood you have to apply pressure for a longer time uh, due to many reasons, the first and a very important reason is uh, artery has high pressure as compared to veins. So the clot formation will take more time as compared to 
uh, vein so you have to apply the pressure for a, a longer time then after take, uh, taking the sample if after taking the sample remove air from the oxygen uh, oxygen you remove uh, sorry remove air from the syringe because air bubbles can be present in your syringe and air bubbles is definitely air bubbles are definitely consist of different gases so they can alter uh, alter the values uh, because if air bubble uh, will be exist in the uh, syringe then definitely the result will be vary due to presence of air gases then you will immediately remove the uh, bubbles from the syringe and then after uh, then you will immediately immediately analyze the blood for the uh, through automatic analyzers or manual then a very important point is if you have to transport the blood uh, uh, within 10 minutes or 5 minutes or 15 minutes uh, then you must have to uh, transport this sample with ice pack or under low temperature so that the gases value will remain uh, unchanged for a for at least 15 to 20 minutes a very very important uh, points you must have to consider during the arterial blood sample collection first of all uh, will not show degree of abnormality a point is uh, a typical uh, uh, blood gas analysis uh, cannot uh, diagnose any uh, specific disease you must have to correlate the report with the clinical symptoms okay and second most important thing arterial puncture site must have pressure applied and be observed carefully for bleeding uh, if you uh, take any sample from the artery then you uh, then you must have to apply pressure for a longer time as compared to veiny puncture because due to high pressure clot formation uh, take more time as compared to uh, clot formation as compared to time uh, taken in the in case of any puncture so uh, you have to uh, carefully observe the bleeding uh, uh, if it happens then uh, so to avoid the bleeding you must have to put the pressure on the surface uh, on the arterial surface then the last thing is bubble from air can change gas values as we have already discussed about this uh, air is consist of different gases so if air bubble will remain in the blood then it can alter the alter the accurate value of blood gases of the patient and somehow there are few analyzers they can uh, they can automatically reject the uh, 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 sample with the air bubbles so before moving towards the analysis of blood gases you must know about the basic symbols used in the reporting of arterial blood gases and these symbols are actually uh, have a long list but they are basic uh, symbols like capital C which shows the concentration of gas in the blood capital S shows the percentage saturation of hemoglobin with CO2 and the oxygen uh, then this is capital Q will show the volume of blood and Q and T will show the volume of blood per unit time okay and capital P will go uh, will show the gas pressure or partial pressure of uh, any gas symbols can uh, usually exist in the form of combination so uh, you should know about the combined symbols as well so P O 2 will show the partial pressure of the oxygen capital P is actually indication of partial pressure and O2 is oxygen then uh, partial pressure of the oxygen PVO2 partial pressure of oxygen in the venous blood the small v will show the venous blood and PA, uh, PAO2 partial pressure of oxygen in arterial blood small a will show the arterial blood and similarly partial pressure uh, of carbon dioxide will be uh, show as PCO2 and SO2 usually shows oxygen saturation and TCO2 will show total carbon dioxide in the blood now a very 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 important thing about the uh, uh, reference values of ABGs uh, you can observe there are very important uh, five parameters in this uh, slide pH actually is 7.35 uh, 
five to seven point four three. It is actually uh, seven point three five to seven point four three. There are few uh, critical values, or somehow uh, in some other words, we can say these are the panic values. We should report immediately, or we should worry about the value if we get any value, uh, and uh, if we get pH value uh, in any report less than seven point two degree, uh, seven point two, or if on the other hand, if pH value uh is uh, uh, more than 7.6 then it is also uh, denoted as critical or panic value uh, partial pressure of carbon dioxide must be between 35 to 45 millimeter of mercury and it's a normal range if it become less than 20 millimeter of mercury then it will be a uh, not a good sign then we uh, must have to report it immediately then 75 to uh, 100 millimeter of mercury is actually a partial pressure for the oxygen and the you can observe the uh, partial uh, you can observe the critical value for the uh, oxygen partial value less than 40 millimeter 40 millimeter of mercury but uh, um, carbonates uh, had uh, carbonates uh, bit, uh, should be exit between 22 to 26 and similarly saturation of oxygen is very very important uh, parameter in this uh, uh, analysis and 96 to 100 uh, percent saturation must be uh, achieved for the uh, for a healthy bo for a healthy body if less than 60 percent saturation of oxygen uh, ob uh, observed then uh, we have to deal the patient as a critical and we have to report the patient uh, uh, quickly uh, report report uh, this value quickly or immediately and curve uh, not shift is actually shows the normal reference value